Mariko, host of Culinary Adventures with Mariko. Today I am going to give a demonstration on Korean stir-fry wok cooking. To get started, you will want to use a well-seasoned wok. By having a well-seasoned wok, it means that your veggies and meat have less chance of sticking. Grab your wok and then you will want to add a couple tablespoons of oil. Today I'm using canola oil, but you could use peanut or something else that heats at a high temperature. By using an oil that has a high heating point means that you can cook foods hotter in a shorter amount of time. If you use something like olive oil or butter, it's going to burn really fast and all your foods are going to stick. So now I'm just going to put my wok with oil on high heat while I get everything else together. While the wok is heating up, you're going to want to slice your Korean barbecued meats. This is some flank steak that has been marinated in a mixture of soy sauce and brown sugar and chili powder. You'll want to cook it up very thin because the thinner the slices means the faster it's going to cook. Sometimes it's hard to slice up meat really thin, so the trick is to put it in the freezer for about 10 minutes. And then it slices up really nice and thin. Now that my Korean barbecue meat is all sliced up, I'm going to add it to the wok. While that's happening, I have two cups of broccoli. This is just regular broccoli florets that I have cut in a small size. And then I'm going to add some bell pepper. Today I'm using a combination of yellow and red bell peppers. If you don't have the mini ones, you can use the large size. I just like using the mini ones sometimes because you can get them in a bag of mixed colors, so it's usually the orange, yellow, and red, and the smaller ones are usually a little bit sweeter. Now in my bowl with my broccoli and bell peppers, I'm going to add a tablespoon of garlic chili sauce, or you can use your favorite hot sauce, and then a tablespoon of minced garlic. Now I'm just going to check on my meat and it's almost cooked all the way. Now it's all looking brown, I'm going to add my veggies. Now my Korean stir fry is ready to serve and it smells delicious. You can serve this with your favorite rice or noodles or it will taste delicious just as it is. This is Chef Mariko giving you a demonstration on Korean stir-fry wok cooking. Enjoy!